Hello guys, it's Rack Man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So Serbia versus Hungary, man, in the group of uh, blah, 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 League of Nations, man, group stage. Uh, this game ended in a 1-0 win for Hungary, man. So Hungary won the game 1-0. Thanks to a goal by uh, Konon, Kononvis. I don't know how to say his name, bro. Probably so Norbert Konvis. Konvis. Uh, scored um, the the only goal in the 20th minute, bro. Early in the game, and uh, poor defensive uh, mistake by Serbia, bro. I don't know what the defenders was thinking, man. And uh, yo, Hungary was up 1-0, man. Hungary defended very well, man. Created a lot of chances, a lot of opportunities, um, but. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Uh, both team had like Hungary. They didn't really have a lot of shot on tar uh, shot in total, but they they had they had they was more clinical, bro. They, they had three shots. They had four shots in total, and three of those was on target. Uh, Serbia dominated the game. Serbia dominated the game, created most of the chance, most of the opportunity. They had most of the ball possession, man. They pretty much had Hungary pinned down, man. But Hungary held their own. Their goalkeeper, man, uh, Golasic. Golashi man, uh, he had a fantastic name. Probably saying that name wrong. He had a fantastic name. Uh, Bodka and uh, Sally, um, their two fullback had a fantastic game. Uh, midfield was clad. They had, they had like what five plays in midfield alongside Serbia. Serbia had a five plays in midfield too, man. Both team went with the same formation, and uh, you know what? Both team. I'm not sure if both team was playing for a draw or what, man. But um, Hungary was coming to a lot of fouls. It was very physical game man he had what like four yellow cards uh while um serbia had three yellow cards man so it was a very physical game man. a lot of yellow cards and uh a few players that really stand out man jovish i don't know what's up with my boy jovish man shout out to my boy jovish man hopefully recover man because like yo i remember the year before when he was at um what team he was playing for eintracht frankfurt over there in um in Germany in the Bundesliga, bro, he was on fire, bro, scoring goals for fun, scoring goals with his eye closed and everything, bro, like, and now he can't score goals, man, and uh, poor game by him overall, man, Tadish had a fantastic game, probably, I'll give Tadish man after match, man, because he was just fantastic overall, man, just attacking-wise, all up the ball, passing and uh, creating those chances and forcing uh, the goalkeeper for hunger to come up with some fantastic save man and uh, no nobody nobody could have like um, no matter what Serbia did bro they just couldn't have break down hungry bro they just couldn't get that equalizing goal and they, they, they're the worst team right now in the group bro never thought they would be the worst team in the group right now they, they sit bottom of the group with uh, I believe uh, two loss and one draw, man. That's just poor in general for Serbia. While Hungary sitting in second place, bro, uh, with uh, two wins and one loss, man. So um, it's just amazing, bro. It's just amazing how Hungary is doing, bro. This is the second game. They beat Turkey. I believe they lost to Russia. Um, beat Turkey and they beat Serbia now. So fantastic game by them overall, man. Only play that really stand out for me today for Serbia was uh, Tadish, man. Tadish was above everybody else. He had a fantastic game. Lukic came on. I think he had an all right game, average game. Uh, Gode, Godeji, Godeji, um, the midfielder, number eight. He had a fan. He, I think he did all right. Um, uh, what's his name? Mladenovic, um, Mladenovic, the number three play. He had an all right game. Uh, Pavlovich, man. Pavlovich had a fantastic. I was very impressed by him today. Uh, very good defensive game by him overall, man. So shout out to him. Uh, Konevis had a fantastic game for um, Hungary. Um, Zali, the, the both of the fullbacks, very good game by them. Uh, defender, um, goalkeeper, very good game by them, man. And uh, yeah, some players really stepped up, man. Some players did very poorly. Uh, what's the name? Vlahovic. Vlahovic came on in the 6-6 six, six minute of the game uh, for Serbia. He almost scored an equalizer in the 75th minute, bro, but the ball hit the post, man. So very unlucky for um, Serbia not to score the equalizer, man. But Hungary playing very well. It's cruising right now, uh, sitting in second in the group. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm very surprised by them, really, man. Like if, if you had asked me, I'd probably put them um, before the before the um, the group stage started. I probably put them last place, man. But right now they're in second place, so they're doing fantastic. Uh, and uh, looking forward to see how it turns out, man. So, uh, stat-wise, 
Serbia had most of the, uh, most of the possession, man. They, they was the dominant team, uh, fifty eight percent ball possession, while Hungary had uh, forty two percent ball possession. Uh, Serbia had fourteen shots in total, bro. They had ten more shots than Hungary, man, and uh, Hungary only had four shots in total, bro. Uh, both teams was equal when it comes to shots on target. With uh, Serbia had three shots on target, Hungary had. Um, um, they had what three shots on target too, man. So hope you guys enjoy my thoughts of, on the game, man. What's your thoughts? Uh, like, subscribe, follow your boy on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Leave a comment, share this video. I'm out of here, though. Peace.